Hey Gap Youth, it's Ash here, um, bringing you tonight's squad night devotional. Um, so um, yeah, we're in lockdown again, guys. How exciting. <laughs> Who would have thought? Um, but yeah, we're going to roll with it. And so squad night is coming to you in your lounge room or your bedroom or wherever you are. Um, I'm excited to bring this word, something that I'm super passionate about, which is testimonies. So we were actually meant to have our testimony night last term, but lockdown. So, you know, we're getting pretty used to this and we'll just roll with it. Um, pros at it now. Um, but we are hoping that our testimony night will be coming up really soon. And so we thought before that I might actually explain to you guys, um, you know, what a testimony is, um, why it's important and how to write a testimony. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got some notes with me here that I've prepared earlier. Um, so let's start with what is a testimony. So um, basically a testimony is a person's individual story. It explains to them how, um, like it explains to other people how you came to have a relationship with God um, and it gives glimpses of who who you were or who they were before having a relationship with God, before knowing him and then reveals to people how knowing God has impacted their lives for good. And so, um, yeah, so why why is it a testimony important? Um, well, you know, everybody's testimony is different but they are all good. So I don't know, I've, I've known people who have said before, my testimony is not that exciting. You know, I don't really like to share it. It's pretty boring. Um, maybe they'd grown up in church. They'd kind of, you know, always had a relationship with God. And so, um, you know, there might not have been any big moment where they had a revelation of God or anything like that. Just, just to encourage you guys, that in itself is an incredible testimony. But Every single person's testimony is going to be different. That's because we're all different. We all have unique stories. We all have different pasts. We all have different childhoods. And um, yeah, because of that, our stories are not going to be the same. And that's a really great thing because my testimony is going to be able to reach people that your testimony won't. And your testimony is going to be able to reach people that my testimony won't. And so because we live in a world where we're all different, God's actually designed us that way and our testimony um, is, you know, unique for a reason. So, um, yeah, everybody, though, has the power to encourage someone with their testimony and ultimately lead them towards knowing God, which is the goal, you know, through our testimonies that we would encourage other people about how great God is. Um, and when we do share it, we're actually giving honor and glory to God, which is an amazing thing to do. So you should never be ashamed about sharing your testimony, um, whether you think it's exciting or not. It is a great story to share. Um, it is a powerful thing also. So um, it talks about in the book of Revelation in chapter 12, verse 11, that um, basically that Satan would be defeated by you know, Jesus on the cross, but by the blood of the lamb and also by the testimonies of God's children, that's us. So, you know, it says, and they have defeated him, that's Satan, by the blood of the lamb and by the power of their testimony. Your testimony is powerful. And so you should share it. Um, so now we're going to get into how to write a testimony. So first of all, um, if you have a piece of paper with you or your phone or whatever, write these, th these three things down. These are three keys to how to write your testimony. I want you to write the word what, and then I want you to write the word why, and then how. Okay, they're three keys. So first of all, you got to ask yourself, what, what was my life like before I became a Christian. Now, this is going to be different for some, for, for, from me to you. You know, for some of you, you might have been a Christian for a long time. Um, for others, it might have been like last week, and that's totally fine. It, you know, the time, um, the time lapse has nothing to do with it, but you've just got to be able to say, what was my life like before? So, you know, whether you, it's a long time ago, you've got to think, okay, well, what was my life like then? And you might want to write that down. If it was a week ago, you go, okay, well, how, what was my life like last week? Write that down. Then secondly, you're going to write down why. Why did I decide to accept Jesus as my savior? It's a great question. Why did you decide to, to receive Jesus? You know, you might want to think about things like who told you about God? You know, what did you learn? 
what was your response to it all? These are all, all really interesting things and things that people will want to know it because it helps them to understand this really massive choice that you've made to invite Jesus into your heart. Knowing why you did that is really significant. And so everybody's reasons are going to be different. And that's, yeah, something that we're sharing. So that's number two. And lastly, how? So how has your life changed? How has my life changed since I made that decision? So what differences are there in your life now? So have a think about what your life was like before. That was that was the first part of it. So the what, what was my life like before? And now think about how your life has changed. How has my life changed since I made that decision, since that part two where I decided to accept Jesus as my savior? How has your life changed? What differences are there? Have a think about how you feel. Have a think about your responses to things like, um, stress and anxiety um have a think about you know the the outworkings the fruit that's in your life do you find you know that your friendship circles have changed do you find yourself feeling happier all these kind of things like describe that so through your testimony you're actually you know showing people who you are who you were and who you are now and how god has made that difference in your life so obviously you know our testimonies, they're, they're progressive. They're not going to stay the same because you this week are going to be different to who you were two years ago. And in two years time, you're going to be different to where you're at now. And so our testimonies, they are progressive. Um, you know, my, my testimony now is so different to what it was like when I was first, you know, a Christian. And that doesn't mean that it's you know better like all that one's better it's just constantly evolving and so you know we should always be willing to share what our testimonies are in the now because you know and there'll be people here people among you guys that haven't been a christian for all that long and you might think oh you know i don't really have that much to share but that's so not true because people want to know what you're going through in every season and so if you've only been a christian for a few weeks Share from that place because those first few weeks of being a Christian are very different to every other stage that you'll go through. And so there's significance in that time. And so if your testimony is just really short, that's okay. And so, you know, as you go on in your life and as you get to know God more, it's going to develop and you're going to be able to have, you know, changes in that and things to add in. And so, yeah, always be willing to share and um, yeah, just ask God, you know, what... Um, what is it that you've done in my life? If you're not sure, and if you know, if you have a crap memory like me sometimes, um, you might actually want to write things down. So um, write down the things that you're praying for. You know, if there's a if there's a situation in your life where you're like, I'm really struggling in this, I dare you to write it down and say, you know, God, I need your help in this area. Da 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 da, and then pray over that and pray for that situation, and then. Also write down when you have answered prayer, because these kind of things will become part of your testimony. And sometimes we're like, oh, I don't really have a testimony, but we're actually forgetting a lot of the things that God's done, the things that he's already done. And so when we pay attention, when we decide to be intentional in paying attention to what God's doing and to actually seek him out for the things that we need help in, because just because, you know, you give your life to Jesus, it doesn't mean that everything's going to go perfectly for you. Because, you know, surprise, we're in a fallen world. But when you have God's help through these situations, how you manage, how you deal in every tough situation might be different to how you would have once dealt before knowing God. So, you know, I encourage you in that area as well. Write it down. Write down your prayers. Write down the breakthroughs and the answered prayers. And then you'll actually start to see where God has been working in your life and you know, a testimony might come forward out of that place. But for those of you who are thinking about sharing at Testimony Night, I so encourage you to do that. You know, even if you have only been a Christian for a day, honestly, there is power in that. And, and you know, if it doesn't encourage anyone else, you guys will be encouraging me. So <laughs> I encourage you to do that. And um, I definitely think you'll be encouraging more than more than just me as well. There's lots of people who will be impacted by it. So just don't don't forget you have a testimony. We all have one. They're powerful. 
they are they give glory to God you should definitely share them and they're super simple to write if you need help if, if I haven't made it really clear um, come and see us we one of the leaders will be happy to help you um, to you know put your testimony into um, words so that you can share it comfortably but thanks for tuning in guys I hope you have an awesome weekend enjoy the last few days of lockdown hopefully we'll see you guys next week bye